Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you that while reading the data from the Excel file, the data is being inserted as float in the SQL server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that how we can correctly read the data from the Excel file and insert it into the SQL server as varchar for example. So let's jump to the demo. So in my D files location, I got a file SSN data. Okay. So if I open this particular file in the Excel, so you will see that it contains some data like it contains percent ID, first name, last name and the SSN number. So for the first five records, it seems like the ID is of type integer. But after the fifth record, we got the ID values like 5A, 5B, 5C. Okay. And similarly, if you look at the SSN number, so for the first five records, it seems like the SSN number is of type numeric. But after that, we got some varchar values as well. Okay. So what I want is that when the data will be inserted to a SQL server table, the ID, it should be of type varchar and the SSN, it should also be of type varchar. Okay. And all this data should be imported as it is into the SQL server table. So let's try to import this data into the SQL server using SSIS. So let me close this particular file and this is my blank SSIS package that I'll be using today. And because we want to import the data, so we will be using the data flow task here. So I can just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and I can configure the data flow task here. Because our source is a Excel file, so we will be using the Excel source to read the data from the Excel file. So I can just drag and drop the Excel source into the data flow task. And now I can configure the Excel source. I can make a new Excel connection manager so that it can read the data from the Excel file. So I can browse the file. My file is situated inside D files location. So this is the file. I can click on open. Okay. And from the name of the Excel sheet, I will browse the Excel sheet. So this is the Excel sheet. And if I click on preview, so it returns the data here. Okay. But if you noticed uh, for the sixth record, seventh and eighth record, the ID is showing as null. And similarly, the SSN is also showing null. Okay. So I can close this one and I can click on okay. Now I want to import this data into a SQL server table. So I will just drag and drop the OLEDB destination and uh, I will connect the Excel source with the OLEDB destination. Now I can configure the OLEDB destination. I can right click and click on edit. I will click on new connection to create a new connection. And we already have a connection here. Like there is a connection to the test database. So I will use that connection here. I will try to import the data to the test database here onto the SQL server 2019. Okay. So I will use this connection from the data access mode. I will select the table of your fast load because it does the bulk insert and then I can click new to create a new SQL server table here. So I can provide my table name here and maybe I can call it as SSN data. And if you notice here, the ID is of type float and SSN is taking as float. Okay. Because what SSIS package does, it actually just reads a few lines of data from the Excel file. And then it decides like what will be the data type. So it read the first few lines of records from the ID column and it got the values like 1, 2, 3, 4. So it thought that it contains the float data. And similarly for SSN, it read first few lines from the SSN column and it thought that the data contains the float data. So that's why it has taken the data type as float for ID and the SSN. So I can click on OK. Now if I click on the preview, so the input columns got me with the destination column so I can click on OK and now let me execute the SSIS package and just check the data like how it will import the data into the SQL server table and then we'll see like how we can fix the data if the data got imported incorrectly so it imported 11 records into the SQL server table so I can refresh the tables okay and I should see a table SSN data here so if I right click on the SSN data and click on select top 1000 records, so it will show you the data. So you can see that for the sixth record, seventh and eighth record, the ID is coming as null and similarly the SSN is also coming as null. Okay. But this is not what I wanted. I wanted to import the data as it is whatever it was in the Excel file into the SQL server table. So this is not reading the data correctly. Now what I can do, maybe I can just drop this table, drop table. SSN data okay and uh, now we'll fix the package so what we need to do is that in the Excel connection manager it is automatically trying to 
you know get the data type according to the couple of lines of data present in the excel file but what i want is that i do not want the excel connection manager to decide like what is the data type for a column instead i want that every column should be treated as n worker data type okay so that we can just import whatever data is there in the excel file as it is into the sql server table so if you right click on the excel connection manager and if you go to the properties so here you need to um, go to the connection string property so this is the connection string property okay and if you go to the end of it so this is the end of the connection string so what you need to do after the yes you need to put a semicolon here and then you need to write imax equal to one okay and then press enter so now what it will do it won't try to uh, get the data type from the excel file but it will take the data type as n worker for all the columns now so you see a um, some exclamation sign here in the excel source so i will right click on it click edit and it is saying like do you want to replace the metadata of the id and ssn so i can say yes and i can click on ok now it's throwing an error on the oradb destination because the ssn data table that was existing earlier i dropped that table so i need to recreate that table so i can right click on it click on edit and i can click new here now if you see here earlier the data type for the id was float and the data type for ssn was also float now it is taking the data type for all the columns as n worker 255 okay so i can call this table as ssn data again ssn data and i can click on okay i can click on mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns and i can click on okay so now our ssis package is ready and i can click on start so that the data can be imported from the excel file into the sql server table so the process ran fine and it has imported 11 records from the excel file so i can go back to the ssms and i can re-execute the query and it should return the data so now you can see that for the id it has loaded the data whatever the data was present in the excel file and similarly for the ssn values it has imported whatever data was present in the excel file so this is one of the method to import the data correctly into the sql server table yeah, so i think that's it for today's video and maybe i can share this excel file with you so that you can download it and can test it in your environment as well thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i put a new video thank you so much